Welcome to part 23 of the Rocket Rabbit Commentaries playthrough, going over the latest report of the City Crime War, going into chapter, dem of, chapter 10 of Condemned, Criminal Origins. We are returning to the apple orchard that we have been alluded to, where now a new parasite infestation has taken hold. Nephew Leland, as revealed to be nephew by Uncle Unconscious Man on the ground, it's about to have his comeuppance. You still don't get it? I've been using you, Ethan Thomas. <laughs> I watched you and followed you. Yeah. And you, and you framed me. And you blamed me. You maimed me. You almost shamed me. Nearly deranged me. I agree that. It sounds like it would have been a bit of fun. <laughs> if you're a psychopath. No, that lamp right there is looking very flame-like. Come to think of it, we haven't seen a lot of flames in this game so far. And how ironic that a character that makes mention to dramatic means of expressing oneself and taking, putting plans into action also is going into a cliched villain monologue. Internal organs and label them for the police to find. Oh yes, he was one of mine too. We were so close to him, but I got there first. <laughs> hey buddy, there's someone behind you. Ouch. Find and destroy it. It has caused all this madness. It? Oh, there are still forces that we have not yet begun to define, like the darkness that we found ourselves in. Follow the barricade of the wall of fire. Yes, follow the wall. Uh, and despite get the yourself fact that your uh, graphic settings make it so that there's very little wall to follow. I, I purpose. I, I appreciate you noticing, Mr. Greta, that I do tend to put my darkness settings pretty high when I do my games. And when I play my games, too. Helps, uh, really simulate what it was they were going for. They want you to use a torch. So, this is the cult, uh, this is the cult first that Serial Killer X was, uh... Uh, was uh, accidentally uh, assisting. Yes? Something like that. Was Leland acting out of his own personal desire for getting high on thrills, or was he attempting to summon some kind of demon from the netherworld? It's definitely not the to... latter thing. Or was he simply high on drugs the entire time? He was not high on drugs the entire time. Prepare to get lost in this environment while Just we jump cut around map. to the true path. Just follow the map. Yes, We've I'm already... saying that because if you stick to the right hand, if you stick to the right hand wall, you're going to get you're going to get out of here just fine, Mr. Cloud. I assure you that this map is not nearly as mazy as the last one was. While we uh, attend to these uh, burn wound victims, this heavily disfigured man who looks like. He, uh, had misused his torch a bit too often. Here, let me show you how best to use a torch. By smacking you upside the face with it. Remember, in this game, if you get hit once, there's a good chance you're about to get clobbered a couple more times in quick succession. Oh, but we lose access to our torch, so we don't actually get to see you slam them. Yeah, needs more of a neck snap, because you can hear the snap. The unmistakable breakage of one's necks by our own hands. Yes, that would have been a much more uh, tangible way of killing somebody. And the easily, I mean, we've been in dark environments in this game before. This this environment is so dark, there are no natural lights in this, in this map, except for a few electric lights and also torches. You can see from the distance, thanks to good, uh, the good 
game engine and draw distance and so on, and also that they do animate torches whenever torches are held, either by you or by other characters. Why do we need to climb over this? We should just be able to push it open. Push it open. You seem to be under keep the impression the no, that things keep still... Keep the torch, past Cloud. Yeah, you can't see without the torch. I don't know. I don't know what light source I have right now. Anybody got a light? Need a light. I am big torch man, just in case you lost your torch or broke it somehow. So just like the other weapons, if you use your torch too much, it's gonna break and then you can't light your path with it. So the game is gonna give you lots of replacements. If you're skilled enough at the combat, because we no longer have our taser, right? Um, that is correct, actually. We do not have a taser anymore. So if you got used to using it, too bad. You're gonna have to learn to actually play the game. Come on, break his neck. Do it. No, nope, oh, just a, a punch. punch. Blah. Take this, you son of a... But, Claude, this is your past torch. Yeah. It so it's works. already it's already pretty heavily damaged from the from the last fights that you were in with it. Oh, well, there was an orange glowy thing. I saw an orange glowy thing. I see an orange glowy thing. The markers. Magic markers. I hear monsters growling in the distance. I see a pathway built by torch sconces. I'm the man on the silver mountain, yeah. Oh, thank you for saving my game. Thank you for giving me healing items. And a gun! <laughs> oh. It's not, not going to have that much ammo in it, though, right? Yeah, five rounds isn't that much. It's half of a full clip. Now, don't drop the torch on a wooden surface. Now you're just raising the proverbial scrutinizing eyebrow as to why isn't this wooden shack burning to the ground like that burn I had. A bullet can't stop a bull moose. You punched him again instead of actually using the neck snap. My boulder destroying fists will set no 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 wrong game. Yeah, we my are not super, Chris Redfield. My super fists of on the path to one hundred percent psychosis will bring you down you bastard. Remember if ever you get lost, all you gotta do is just go back through the murky darkness until you find a place you're pretty sure you've been before and then work from there. You know, this, this has got to be the longest me... route to a Dio concert that I have ever seen. Yeah. And this is a pretty lo this is a pretty sprawled out map. Previous maps had you stuck behind doors that you had to open with a fire axe or or other bullshit that you had to find in the environment. The good thing about chapter 10 is that it's it's a lot of the time you're spending is not going to be getting lost in an environment trying to find the key to the door. All the doors are open, you just have to know where the fucking corridor is. Ouch. He did the leaping strike. Snap come to real neck. monsters now. Come on, snap his neck. Nope. I don't want to put my hands on that. He's got leprosy. It's not leprosy, it's charred flesh. You don't need a health pack. Leave it uh, alone. You, you might as well grab it. Like, the, are you really going to come back all the way over here just to get that? No. And the answer is no, because every time... I'll see, look, look they put health, health packs over here, too. Oh, but there's something else dangerous over here as well. A giant spider? Not quite a giant spider. Thankfully, all the enemies, like like in Bioshock, all the enemies that you come across in this game are human-based, although they behave like creatures and monsters, like these stupid, uh, skittering enemies that die in just a couple strikes. There's something else lurking in the darkness over here. And it is still not a giant spider? 
It is not a giant spider. Aragon is all set with your crap right now. It's mini boss time. Mm, okay, I noticed that our lighting engine switched over to white. Really? The torturer again? It's not the to we killed the, to the the torturer killed himself. The torturer is dead. This is this may be getting us closer to that it creature that Van Horn was alluding to right before he restrained Leland from stopping his pursuit. Yeah, but we don't. Will be uh, but we don't have any other context for uh, for what the fuck Van Horn is on. Yeah, isn't it great that we had healing items right next to a moment when we probably were going to need them? But the body disappeared once again. All we left behind were sticks. Unfortunately, these sticks don't have flashlights attached, so we right. can't use them as weapons. I mean, as as things to light our way. We can't use them as weapons. Good luck getting through this map without a light source. But then again, now that I've seen that people can play entire video games blind, regardless of the difficulty being only, is it more or less difficult than other planes? games to play blindfolded. Yeah, you can go through this map without a torch. You could probably go through this map without a weapon either. But fuck you. <laughs> you can go your own way. Go, go your, your own, own way. way. You can call it another lonely day. Hey, big guy. Look behind you. So I don't think your friend is very cool, man. Don't <laughs> look at these lumbering idiots all using the same walking cycle animation. And they did the exact same, ow, oh, you hit me, I'm mad about it, animation at the same time. Well, yeah, because that, uh, you're, uh, you actually have a, a decent amount of melee range with these weapons. Come to think of it, there are only four varieties of enemies in this level. There are, there are these heavies, there are the lights, the mini-bosses, and then... Alright, see, see? Much I more could tell. Very satisfying, because I heard it. With my ears, instead of trying and failing to see it, with my eyes. Right. Here's another place where you can get lost in real quick. Okay, you're Just at follow this point. The river. It's okay. What river? There's a river behind us. Yeah, but it's probably fenced in. Well, then you can follow the fence that is on top of the river. That is true. You can follow the fence, and the fence it will surely lead you somewhere. Uh -oh. Every stupid step of the way. And yes, I had to redo this checkpoint. Oh, okay. I was wondering why the music faded. Uh, just like immediately cut out. Because this part is dangerous. Oh, did I say that there were only four enemy types in this level? I guess there are five. Uh, I think this is only the third one that we've seen, though. Oh, these guys just want to mosh. Got you. Asshole. A single rifle round left, or nine rifle rounds. Yay! Nine is greater than one. I made the correct choice. But now I can't see. Fuck. Uh, it's okay. There's, uh, there's a, there are a bunch of different lighted areas that that you can, you know, uh, dash, uh, dash blindly towards. Oh, we're dashing blind now. Okay, I see. I see de de definitely, definitely flames in the distance. Except that that's the pathway where I came from. You'll find that happening very often in this level, is you think you're going the right way, but then you come to realize you're actually going backwards. So, follow, uh, follow the left, uh, follow the, uh, the left, uh, de de yeah, that. Oh. There we go, okay. The, 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 they spawn in yet? The, the guy, the stupid, the stupid mooks with the torches spawn in yet? No. Mm. Okay, now just keep following the left. And we will continue following to the left and into the next and final part of the Rock Rabbit Commentaries playthrough after we gun down Big Boy, Big Boy over here, who apparently can only take three rifle bullets before he goes down. We're going to get to the bottom of this mystery once and for all. It's a cult, isn't it? Be safe, everybody.